Hey guys, it's Wednesday, and I'm Amy, and you guys all had Thanksgiving. I live in Canada. Mine was in October. But this week's topic is acceptance in the community and your family. So I'm going to start with the community one. Um, I don't live in like a small town. I live in like a bigger town, and it's all LGBT related kind of things so it's there's good. this LGBT place in my hometown where I would go to but I kind of stopped going because it was only once every month on a Thursday and it kind of got boring after a while for me and I just I didn't really enjoy the people there so I just kind of stopped going but I mean like it's a great thing to like get involved with because we had this yeah, thing this year in, at our amusement park, and my friend Ricky, she performed there and everything, and then, it's actually not bad, it was, it's kind of cool, but I'm gonna go talking into the family part. When I came out to my family, I told my grandmother first, because I live with her, and I, it was after New Year's 2011, yeah, so it's almost been a year that I've been out, um, she, I had her sit down at the table, and I started, like, bawling my eyes out, and I'm not the type to always cry in front of people, so, I was just, like, crying, she's like, what's wrong, and I was like, meh, meh, meh. and I told her, like, my story and everything about, and she was like, what's wrong, though, I don't see anything wrong with it, and I was like, oh, <laughs> and I, I was happy, and then that night, I went over to my aunt's house, because my aunt is gay, and she felt honored that I, she was the second person I told, and then everyone else kind of just, like, clued in on their own. Like, my mom, she, like, came to me, and she was like, do you like girls? I'm not going to be mad if you did. And I was like, yeah. But, ignore this song. My stepdad, when I was, like, 15, he, um... Anyways, my um, stepdad sat me down when I was like 15 and told me, if you like girls, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm going to love you no matter what. If you bring a girl home, if you bring a boy home, either doesn't matter. As long as you are happy, that's all that matters to me. And that kind of helped me, but I still didn't come out at all. I kind of was like, no, I don't like girls. I like boys, blah, 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 whatever. But everyone just kind of, like, clued in by themselves. Like, my my parents accept me for me. They told me that... I'm going to change the song. They told me that they would love me unconditionally. And I was, like, their baby cub. And that they would protect me no matter what my mom told me. And, like, my mom's an amazing person. And... It was just nice that I had her support. And there's only two people in my family that I haven't come up to because I don't know how they'll react. They're my grandparents and they're... Mm. When my mom told them that she liked girls, I don't know if it was a joke or just to see the reaction, but they almost like kicked my mom out of their house. But my mom always told me that I'm like their little princess, which I, yeah, I am. And that they wouldn't care because it's me. And that they would still love me. So, I don't know. I still haven't come out to them. So, maybe this year I will. Um, the one thing that bothers me about parents sometimes is they'll tell, like I said, what my mom said. They'll tell their child, oh, I love you unconditionally. You're like my little cub and I will protect you. No matter what, if you do wrong, I will still love you no matter what. And for those kids that are in the closet, they think, oh, my parents will accept me because they will love me no matter what because they told me that they'd love me unconditionally. And then when they come out, their parents are like, oh, that's a sin. You can't be gay. Is there something wrong with you? This is just a phase. And that's what And they go is. through all the scenarios. Parents just think it's a phase and that they'll grow out of it. And I just, it pisses me off and annoys me. I had this friend. She was my best friend all through public school and all that high school stuff. 
And when she found out I was gay, she told me, quote unquote, that is the grossest thing I have ever heard in my life. I was disgusted with her and I didn't know what to say with her. And the things she said were so rude. And I will quote her again. She said at the end, have fun with dildos your whole life. And that just ticked me off that I just blew up on her. And yeah. And then a couple like months after, she ended up telling me she was sorry. And But it's still, it's it stays with you. Like what people say bad about you. You can't forget it. But the people that I love, they accept me. And that's all that matters to me. And if they don't, then sucks to be them because they're missing out.